All right, hey there, welcome back. So here's where we left off last time. We can uh, make matches, the matches destroy, and the world doesn't end if we try to swipe into those blank spaces. So then the next thing to do would be to collapse the columns. So first thing I'm gonna do is in my game window, I'm gonna make another timer that I'm gonna call my collapse timer. So I'm gonna destroy the pieces, I'm gonna have a short delay, and then things are gonna collapse. So I'm gonna add a timer node and I'm gonna call this one collapse timer. Collapse timer. Um, again, I'm gonna set my wait time to be half a second. And then I'm gonna go to my node. Oh wait, and I also want it to be one shot. So half a second and one shot. I'm gonna go to my node and I'm gonna connect my timeout signal with my grid. And that'll open up the grid function, or the grid script. Now for this, let's talk about the basic logic for collapsing everything. So if I hit play, mirror, mirror. So what I want to happen is I want to, after I destroy pieces, I wanna go through every piece on the grid. And if I find an empty space that shouldn't be empty, so a place that's null, I'm gonna then start searching up. And if I find a piece above it, isn't null, I'm gonna move that piece to this piece and then break out of the loop and then do it again. So like in this case, this is null. So then I would go up, I'd find this piece, and I'm gonna move this piece to there and make sure that I reset it in the grid so that it's in this piece, in this place now. And then I would break out of the loop and go up again. This is null, I'd find this piece, I'd move this piece down, go up again, this is null. And then if I go outside of the grid, there's nothing I can do, so then that would be it. I would move on to the next column. So I'm going to create a new function. Uh, I'm going to put this right under destroy matches just so everything is kind of together. I'm going to call this function um, collapse columns. And yeah, first thing I'm going to do is use my double for loop, which should be pretty familiar by now. So for i in width and then for j in height, I'm gonna say if all pieces ij is null, meaning we found a null piece, then I'm going to start looping above it. So I'm gonna say for, I'm gonna create a new variable, k in range, and we wanna start at one above where we were. So we're going to go j plus 1, and we're going to go until we reach the height. Now we want to check to see if this piece isn't null. If all pieces i k this time instead of j is not equal to null, then we're going to move it to that empty spot. We're going to say all pieces ik uh, dot move and then we have to tell it where to move so we want to move it to uh, grid to pixel and in this case the column is i and the row is j and then we want to reset it so all pieces ij is equal to all pieces ik. So that's setting the empty spot to have the value of the thing we just moved to it. And then we want to say all pieces ik is equal to null. So we're going to make that null. And then this is really important. Uh, we have to break out of the loop. Break. All right, cool. So. That should be enough to do it. Let's see if I broke it or not. So after we destroy matched, I'm going to start the collapse timer. So outside of the for loops, I'm gonna do get parent dot get node. And the node I wanna get is collapse timer dot start. And then when we do the collapse timer, I want to collapse columns. 
I feel like I'm going through this super fast. So if, if any of this is confusing, feel free to ask questions down below. All right, cool. So I'm going to go out of distraction free mode so I can see what's going on. Let's hit play. All right. Let's make a match. There we go. Sweet. Let's do it again. Let's make a match. There we go. And because I use that move command, it still has that nice elastic bounce to it. So now the next thing we need to do is just have another little timer running that refills. So half a second after we collapse, we should refill. Uh, and we can do that just by going through here, seeing if any of these spots are null. And if it's null, generate a random piece there. And then we would just have it then check to see if there are new matches that were created or not. So yeah, there we go. We got most of the basic mechanics down. From here on out, it's mostly fun stuff. So thanks for sticking around. Um, we're going to make some real cool stuff coming up. I'm really looking forward to it. It's exciting. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Like I said, I feel like I went real fast through this. Um, but yeah, ask me a question if you need to. Um, you can follow me on Twitter to find out when I post new videos. Uh, you can join my Discord where I'm going to try to chat a bit more often. I feel like I say this all the time. And yeah, have yourselves a wonderful day.